Hi, I'm Dr. Sandeep Jha. I'm a liver disease specialist and liver transplant surgeon and I work as a consultant at Manipal Hospital which is in Dwarka, Delhi, India. Today we're going to talk about chronic hepatitis C infection or hepatitis C virus infection that can damage the liver. Amongst hepatitis virus, hepatitis B and hepatitis C can cause significant damage to the liver and are associated with cirrhosis and liver failure and liver cancer. However, hepatitis A and hepatitis E can also affect the liver, but they do not cause as severe damage as hepatitis B and C. So we'll talk about chronic hepatitis C today. So chronic hepatitis C was a major cause of morbidity and mortality a few decades earlier and it is used to be associated with very high risk of recurrence even after a liver transplant. However, this scenario has changed over the last 5 to 10 years and very effective medications are now available that can completely remove the hepatitis B virus from the body in up to 95% of the patients. So, risk of hepatitis C infection causing mortality has significantly decreased after the introduction of these medications. And for patients who develop liver failure or liver cancer, the options of liver transplant has emerged as a life-saving treatment for such patients. However, as of now, there is no vaccination available for hepatitis C. But a lot of active research is going on on that aspect. So chronic hepatitis C happens due to hepatitis C virus and close to 59 million people globally are affected with chronic hepatitis C. And this is according to the WHO estimates and around 1.5 million people are infected every year due to chronic hepatitis C. And in 2019, close to 2.9 lakh people died due to complications of chronic hepatitis C infection. Out of all the people infected with hepatitis C, only 21% globally are aware that they have a chronic hepatitis C infection. And up to 60% of such patients are taking active treatment um, since the availability of these new medications for hepatitis C. Now, how is hepatitis C transmitted from one person to another? It is transmitted due to exposure of infected blood or when blood from infected individual comes in contact with a non-infected individual, there is potential of transfer of hepatitis C infection. Now, close to 30% patients will be able to fight the infection on their own. However, up to 70% of the patients might develop chronic hepatitis C infection inside the body. And out of these 70% patients, nearly 30% will go on to develop cirrhosis over next 10 to 20 years. And as you know, hepatitis C virus is also associated with development of liver cancer. And all these patients who have hepatitis C and cirrhosis are at a risk of developing cancer at the rate of 1% to 4% per year of these patients might develop liver cancer. Now, very good medications are available for hepatitis C in the recent past. And earlier they were not available in India, but now they are available in India and may be free of cost at many government institutions and at very reasonable rates in the, in the market. And patient requires treatment for 12 to 24 weeks and he needs to take one tablet per day for three months or six months depending on various factors and at the end of three to six months nearly 95 percent of the patients will be cleared of the virus and they will not require any further treatment so this is very good result compared to a decade or two earlier when chronic hepatitis c had absolutely no treatment once you are infected so we are very lucky to be existing in this era where such effective treatment is available and Unfortunately, if you develop complications of hepatitis C after being infected, then cirrhosis or liver cancer, then the option of liver transplant is available to you if you want to get cured from this cirrhosis or liver cancer. Uh, for people who develop cirrhosis after chronic hepatitis C, these medications can help the body to get rid of the virus. However, if the cirrhosis has started or it has advanced, then patient might require liver transplant to get cured of the cirrhosis or liver cancer. Currently, there's no effective vaccination against hepatitis C. So the policy is to screen high risk persons or persons who are at risk of development of hepatitis C. And the idea is to screen them and treat them 
in time so that they do not develop these complications. So if you have deranged liver function test or your AST and is elevated chronically, then you should get yourself tested for hepatitis C and also hepatitis B virus. If you are a healthcare professional, then you are at a high risk of transmission of hepatitis C because of blood contamination or needle stick injury. So they need to be screened. If you are on chronic on dialysis due to your kidney condition and you are routinely getting dialysis, then you are at a high risk of transmission of hepatitis C. If you are indulging in tattooing or high risk behavior like IV drug abuse then you are at high risk of hepatitis C infection so it is mandatory for you to get screened if you have had a history of multiple blood transfusions earlier uh, or surgeries earlier then you should be screened for hepatitis B and C because earlier protocols were not available for screening of hepatitis B, B and C in blood banks and in hospitals so if you have had a surgery maybe a decade or two earlier then you are at a potential of being infected with hepatitis C so you should get yourself screened for that condition so as of now all adults in India are not screened for hepatitis C but my recommendation would be that the next opportunity you get to go to a clinic or a hospital or you're getting any blood investigation done then you should get yourself screened for both hepatitis B and C so that you can effectively fight this condition and get treatment on a timely basis so that the complication of liver cancer or liver cirrhosis does not arise however even if they arise and then you have the treatment of a timely liver transplant available to you to get rid of this condition so if you think that this video has useful information and was beneficial to you then please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel so that more and more people can benefit from it thank you